last, a worthy disciple. Be gone. the robes of a Sith, but you are not one of us, alien. I look at you, and I wonder, are you among the truly loyal, or do you hide treason in your heart? Do you always make a habit of accusing strangers of treachery and sedition? You are no stranger to me. I know everyone in this academy, even its former slaves. Intelligence reports indicate this valley shelters traitors. Acolytes who seek to destroy our Emperor's carefully built order and replace it with their own weak-minded heresies. They hide among the faithful and obedient. But make no mistake, they will destroy us all, given the chance. We've watched as the traitors scuttle about this valley and plot against us. We know their faces and their names. It is the Emperor's will that the sands of Korriban be slaked with the blood of these traitors. Prove your allegiance by executing them. It will be a great honor to serve you, my lord. And in serving me, you serve the Emperor. Remember that as you exterminate those vermin in the valley. I'll give you the means to identify the traitors. Eliminate enough of them to prove your loyalty. Then return to Inquisitor Arzanen. I'll be watching your progress with great interest. Go now. See that the Emperor's will be done.
I watched you deal with those traitors. Well done. That was an impressive display of loyalty. Take this reward as a token of the Emperor's favor. And wear this badge. It marks you as a defender of our Empire. Stay vigilant. Our enemies lurk where you least expect them. Authorized destinations. Authorized destinations. Travel route is confirmed. If you're headed out by the Tukata, Lord Varrison is paying actual credits for bone marrow samples. Varrison's doing some sort of experiment for Lord Renning. The less details we know, the better I'm sure. marrow samples. Lord Renning will be pleased. You may go. Ah, 
I'd heard we were evaluating alien competency to be Sith. How fascinating to finally meet a test subject. I trust the sight of a messy operating table doesn't disturb you? The path to power is not for the faint-hearted. <laughs> you remind me of myself at your age. This used to be a Tukata, the hound-like creatures infesting Korriban's tombs. On the surface, nothing special. But I alone can see this creature is an expression of pure dark side energy. Aggression made manifest. Amazing. How did you learn that? The Force told me so. It speaks to me. The Force is alive. It expresses its will in the physical world. This Tukata was one such form. Are we another of these forms? Sith are the highest manifestation of the Force's will. I've dissected hundreds of Tukata, forging a direct connection to the dark side. Each beast I examine advances me toward perfect unity. I now stand at a new frontier, but find myself thwarted. My most perfect specimen, a Tukata mutant, escaped to the tombs before I could analyze it. Your work is too important to fail, my lord. Indeed. Perhaps the Force has brought you to me for a reason. You acolytes delve those tombs on your trials. You could hunt that Tukata for me and retrieve its perfect brain. My apprentice, Malora, saw which tomb the mutant beast fled into. Find out what she knows, assist me, and you will be rewarded. I'll speak with Malora and do whatever is necessary, my lord. You found a great calling in my service. I trust you appreciate that. Seeking Lord Renning's lost pet, are you? <laughs> Don't waste your time. That fool's research is pointless. Not a very loyal apprentice, are you? He's my master in title only. He has nothing to teach anyone about the dark side of the Force. Renin deludes the Dark Council into believing he's advancing Sith knowledge. The truth is, he wastes the Empire's time and resources dissecting mindless animals. But if his experiments were discredited, he would be banished, and I would be rewarded. Tell the Dark Council he's insane. I'm sure they'd listen. Don't be naive. The Dark Council would never believe the word of an apprentice over her master. Look, just a minor alteration to the mutant Tukata's brain would allow me to reveal my master as a fraud. Bring me the brain before delivering it to Lord Renning, and I'll make it worth your while. Betraying your master carries considerable risk. The greater the risk, the greater the reward. For both of us. The mutant Takata escaped to the tomb of Mark of Ragnos. It's much larger than the others, so it's easy to spot. Return to me with the brain before you see Lord Renning, and I'll take care of the rest. Sergeant Garrus, turns out the rumors were true. Some of the sentries we lost down here aren't dead. They lost their minds, just like the Acolytes. Doesn't mean we're going to have any easier a time getting the research supplies back, though. The crates are secured with multi-locks. If we're going to open these things without frying the contents, we'll need to get all the sentries' code cylinders back. I don't think negotiation is an option. The men aren't keen to take down their old comrades, but we'll do what we can. Once we have the code cylinders, we'll crack open the supply crates and get back. Tave one out.
Peace is a lie. There is only passion.
I'm running out of patience. Have you finally acquired the mutant Tukata brain, or should I send someone else? I got what you wanted. <sighs> ha! Wonderful. Let me see it. Remember those who aided your research, my lord. When I bestow my wisdom to the entire Empire, you will share some minuscule fraction of my glory. You've done an impressive job, young alien. I have no qualms about rewarding your effort. Melora asked me to sabotage your experiment. Is that so? Melora, if you can't show my work the appreciation it deserves, there's no place for you as my apprentice. Wait, Master! It's a lie! I haven't betrayed you! I know the truth when I hear it, Melora. I'm releasing you from my service. Eventually. <laughs> Master! Please! Stop! No! <laughs> my dear, the pain for you is only beginning. Take your reward and leave. Melora and I have much to discuss. Sounds like you need some help. I appreciate your kind offer, but I prefer to handle this myself. Farewell. destinations. Yes, can I help you with something? Hold on. Are those the research supplies we were after? I'd given up on them days ago. You've no idea how much I appreciate this. Some of these chemicals take months to manufacture. Not much use to you, but vital to us. Thank you. You're welcome to use some of our equipment as compensation. I'll make sure to mention you to the commander. You better not be wasting my time, slave. You better have the holocron. Hmm. A fake. Or stolen from the library, probably. I'll deal with you later. Now, I believe it's time for another demonstration. Gur, step forward. Yes, Overseer. Fon, kill him. With pleasure, Overseer. Let Gur be an example to you. Fon destroyed him easily, like he will destroy all of you. Are there any other objections? No, Overseer. No objections. Now the rest of you know the next trial. Go. You, slave. 
Stay here. Now, slave, you think yourself pretty clever getting that holocron, don't you? I don't really think about it one way or the other. I did as I was told. You are lucky Lord Zash finds you useful. Now for your trial. The last, darkest secrets of Tulak Horde are buried in his tomb. Lord Zash wants this text. But the final resting place of the dead Lord is not easily trespassed. You will not be the first to die there. Yes, I get it already. You send me into a tomb to do the impossible, hoping I die, and I come back and prove you wrong. Shut up, slave. I've had about enough of your mockery. Do not come back here until you've gotten the text from Tulak Horde's tomb. Out of my sight, slave. <laughs>